Alright. Hello everyone. It's the Coin King back with another video. Today is Tuesday, December 8, 2020. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel, The Coin King, um, on YouTube. Hit the like button on uh, some of my videos or all of my videos if you plan on watching because I have a lot of videos on here. So when you have a moment, check out some of the great content that I have provided to you are and uh, again subscribe to my channel like the videos um, and I am not your financial advisor uh, do your own research and due diligence before you uh, buy or hold any of these cryptos or stocks or whatever it may be um, let's see let's go ahead and get things started okay be sure uh, to check out zversity.com website if you are looking to learn anything uh, you know gain some new knowledge uh, skill sets or whatever it's a great free website learning platform zversity.com that Z is in zebra and then versity just like university.com all right uh, and uh, today let's go ahead and take a look at the chart um, we'll go to bidmarketdaily.com right quick and just to see exactly um, where we are at today I know we've been uh, like today is a red day should I say um, you're looking at the market cap of uh, what is this five five hundred fifty seven billion dollars which is always good news when it's above five hundred billion all right it's not the, the market is still uh, we are in a uh, you know I, I want to say a small bear market entry level it's not a not even ten percent bull market right now I think it's just you know, like I said, once it crossed over, I would say it's close to seven hundred billion. I'm thinking we are like maybe we're getting the party. You know, the party's about to be starting, right? So right now, five hundred and fifty-eight billion is good for me. You know, I'm very happy with that. And uh, let's look at take a look at the chart right quick. And Bitcoin, of course, is the king number one. Trading at 18,924, 925. <laughs> BitmarketDaily.com has all this because it's this real price quote in act, you know, like live, as you can see the way it's changing color and also. Um, number two, Ethereum 578, XRP 59 cents, Teeter at a dollar, Litecoin at $81, Bitcoin Cash 276, Chainlink $12, Cardano 14 cents. Polkadot, $4.88 in Binance Coin coming at number 10. Uh, and I'm not going to keep going to the, you know, beyond the top 10 right now. Um, but today, which, like I said, just a little bit uh, small dip. And as, uh, as they always say, dip is for buying, right? <laughs> I don't really buy anything in, on a green day. Um, and plus, you know, uh, you know I'm not going to keep buying all the time since... I already have my position ready. So I've been, you know, buying gradually for the past couple of years, actually, on great projects like Zelica and uh, Nemec and, uh, you know, all, the one I mentioned on Twitter, uh, Mainframe, DMG Auto is a great project that I've been slowly accumulating uh, since I don't massively just buy something like some few people. Some people some people have a lot of money. You know, I don't have a lot of money, so... Um, I just basically buy what I can and what I'm able to so I don't go broke or whatever, you know, like I said And you should have that same kind of mindset too, right? You don't want to just some people just Put all their 401k and house Payment or whatever. It's like that. That's that's too crazy. You know, I mean come on. Let's be real here Be, be responsible. So buy and trade responsible, okay? Okay, anyway, so um Let's go ahead, in this particular video, I want to talk about um, one project that I'm, um, you know, slowly, I'm going to be buying um, gradually, not a lot, but gradually, I will be buying um, maybe every week or every two weeks or whatever, but not in a massive amount of money. Like I said, I don't buy stuff in a huge, huge, huge amount. I just, certain project I like, I think is a good investment that I would just put in my portfolio. And uh, this particular project, in addition... These are part of my safe project that I mentioned to you in my past two videos um, that I don't really recommend stuff that um, 
this could be dangerous for people, you know what I mean? Uh, and I'll tell you straight off the bat if it is, I can I think it's dangerous. This particular project, I you know, I'm planning on adding to my position, and I'm not. It's long for long term. I'm talking about two to five years, um, and I think it's gonna grow to be something really massive, right? And you know what I'm talking about. If you see my screen here already, it's polka dot, right? I'm, I I really really love polka dot. Um, project here it's trading at four dollars 88 cents which is a huge steal right now it's still you know i've been watching polka dot for the past three or four months they've been around since i think 2015 2016 but they have not really gone should i say public where you actually can buy their to you know their coins um so you know a few months ago they came out i think it was trading at you know i think close to three dollars now it's been up already and I don't think it's going to be I don't think it's gonna dip below three dollars to be honest um, I think the lowest the past few weeks was like 393 which is was I don't think we're gonna see that number anytime soon so I think it's about the markets about to run um, the next year especially and I think polka dots gonna be fifty to hundred dollars that's what I think long term could be next year or be next year after but it's definitely a, a fantastic project at four dollars and eighty eight cents um, circulating supply, as you can see, it's pretty, pretty low, right? Um, it's like, uh, what is it? Eight, uh, 886 uh, million dollar. I'm sorry, 886 million circulating supply of dot. Um, and, uh, total supply, you're looking at 1 billion. So that's pretty good. It's, it's not too high. It's not too low, but it's just, I think it has fifty to hundred dollar potential easily based on that circulating supply and uh, total supply for this. Um, and what it is, Polkadot is uh, just read quickly. It's just say Polkadot is an open source sharding multi chain protocol that facilitates the cross chain transfer of any data or asset types, not just token, thereby making a wide range of blockchains uh, interoperable with each other. So this is um, great. Um, idea for blockchain and i think a lot of blockchain are going to be doing that working on uh, you know other chain to speak to each other work with each other uh, especially zelica one of my favorite project um that they've been working on a bridge with ethereum and all that so hopefully they'll you know be able to do the same thing with other chain as well too because i don't think you know one blockchain will rule, rule everything i think it's just a uh a, a ch a, the blockchain will be I think the future is connecting with each other, speaking to each other, and, you know, whoever has the most user base and, you know, will probably be number one. Um, but there's, like I said, there's room to grow for everybody, and everybody always talking about, oh, my chain is better than this or this and that. I wish people would stop that. That's annoying, you know what I mean? It's like there's room to grow for everybody. It's all about collaboration, you know, a lot of projects. If you have good team and, you know, you're, you're solving problems, I think that's going to make you uh, stand out and also that's going to basically um, help you as a project grow um, and accept it by other people's uh, or enterprises. Like I said, you know, Polkadot, uh, Zelica, great team and everything. Um, and uh, the Polkadot, I mean, you can see their website, polkadot.network. You want to read more and do your own research. Um, they have their own roadmap, see roadmap here, and uh, basically these are all the reason why, you know, uh, why they are different and unique um, to uh, interoperability, economic and transactional scalability, easy blockchain innovation, forkless and future proof, security for everyone, user driven network governance. Um, so, let me see. And one thing I want to bring up, the most important thing that um, uh, this is fantastic about the the Polkadot uh, uh, network is that, um, as I mentioned in my videos, I said, hey, let's, you know, the safest project are the ones that actually started by great team members, um, especially like Ethereum, right? And like I said, on my, was it my past video or past two video I mentioned about the safest project? Um, I think I mentioned Ethereum, Cardano, Polkadot, Zelica, right? Those are really, really, really strong um, 
strong. They have really strong team members who who um, who's working every day, and I can't stress enough as far as like, why do you keep saying the same thing? Because I'm trying to let people get to understand that, you know, sometimes you got to invest in great people, right? Like Elon Musk, he started PayPal, and then he went and start, um, you know, Tesla, and there was some. Well, he, before PayPal, he started another software company. It was successful, and then he went PayPal, started successful. Then he started Tesla. It was successful. And now SpaceX is successful. You always want to invest in people who are doing something great, right? That's doing something that's changing the world or you know, making the world a better place. And what I want to point out about Polkadot is it started by three people who started Ethereum, right? Um, Ethereum um, was started by Vitalik Buterin. I think that's how I have to say his name. Vitalik Buterin. And also, um, Gavin Woods, which is the guy in the middle here. Um, and also Cardano, started by Charles Hoskinson, right? So when I say the project goes safe, it's because it's, it's you know, great, great founders starting another project, right? So they, they started Ethereum, and it's pretty extremely successful, Ethereum. So that's why I said Ethereum. Right, Vitalik is still with Ethereum, which is great. Now you got Gavin Wood doing Polkadot. He's the founder of Ethereum. He wrote the language, the Solidity language, smart contract language of Ethereum. He's coming and doing Polkadot, right? And here are the other three founder: Robert uh, Hebelmeyer, I think, and then Peter Shaban. So, like I said, go to their website, and, and I'm not going to read all this stuff because, like I said, that's you know that doesn't do any good. Just you know, if you can read, you can read, right? So I'm not going to waste my time in the video reading all this stuff. But these are the three founders, the three faces of Polkadot that I think that um, is going to make the project a success. And like I said, they've been launching since 2015, 2016. And they have not been live to the public for you to buy dots or hold dots, right? Until recently, what they have done is that they... Um, they have uh, have so many different DApps. You know, that's what decentralized application, that's what DApp stands for. Just like 90% of the DApp are made by Ethereum right now. And and I think that, uh, you know, more DApps are being developed on, on Polkadot Network right now. And uh, I forget what exactly, where is the... I was trying to show the, all the DApps that I wonder if they even show on this website or not, but I've seen it um, elsewhere where they have a bunch of dApps that's already, you know, that's already alive. I mean, we're talking about hundreds and hundreds of dApps already. So they have their stuff, basically they have their stuff together before they even launch to the public to buy dots. Um, you know, they didn't just like, hey, we're, we're dots, buy us. You know, they didn't do like, unlike other projects, which is nothing wrong with that if you do it that way too, but I think it's just more uh, pretty awesome that they actually waited for two or three years to build and you know have all that ready. You know, it's kind of like in a way if you think about it, watching PlayStation Five being released and they don't even have any games hardly. It's kind of like, but still people still buy it though. But you know, I just think it's more be more impressive they have a bunch of games launch with it, and that's what Polkadot's doing. They already have DApps that's already uh, live and uh, people can actually, uh, there's also actually being used. Like I think MentraDAO, PokeStarter, those are dApps under the Polkadot uh, network. So anyway, guys, uh, just be sure um, to read up on Polkadot network. Polkadot.network is just a beautiful website. Um, Make your own decision and do your own research and due diligence. That's what I mean by this. I'm, I'm giving you the knowledge, the place to, for you to look further. Um, and, you know, so that way you have a better understanding. Um, you know, I think putting money into uh, investing in, in Polkadot is really a good way of saving money instead of, you know, because you're getting rewarded. Especially, uh, the oh, I'm going to put my link underneath this. Um, for uh, the Voyager app, actually, you can buy Polkadot on Voyager, which is pretty simple. You just tie your you know account to them, and then you can buy Polkadot right there from them. And then I think you earn four percent interest if you buy twenty five Polkadot or more. 
Um, and I'm gonna put my link there, so be sure to use that link, guys. Um, that way, um, I get 25 bucks in BTC money, and then you get 25 bucks in BTC money when you trade at least 100 bucks or put 100 bucks on Voyager account. And Voyager is a fantastic, fantastic uh, app, okay? And uh, it, it's, it, it's unlike Coinbase, there's no fee or anything. Like if you put 20 bucks in, you're gonna be able to use that 20 bucks and buy polka dot or any other coins there's like i think there's like really more coins than in on coinbase so i voyage is a fantastic um you know uh platform to buy uh coins um and tokens on because unlike other stuff you don't have to a lot of time you have to buy stuff on let's say you buy something on coinbase for 20 bucks and coinbase take their two almost two dollar fee probably two bucks or more and then you have like 18 bucks. Now you got to transfer it to like Binance, Qcoin or whatever. And then by that time, you know, you already got like maybe 16, 17. You already lost four bucks already. That's down if you owe 20 bucks. So Voyager doesn't work that way. You just buy the thing. You have 20 bucks. You put it in there. You're using your entire 20 bucks, which is really fantastic. I really, really, really like uh, Voyager app a lot. So use my link below, guys. And, um, you know, if you decide to get Polkadot or any other type of coins or tokens is available there that way we both get rewarded okay i'm not trying to sell you anything it's just basically you know you get something and i get something it's a win-win for everybody all right so anyway that's it for this video thanks for watching be sure to subscribe to my channel and like my video all right peace